Logabox Clips. So to do that, I'm gonna do Control F12 right here, and I'm just gonna draw my square right here. So this is one of the first things, if you're doing the Enigma system, I would suggest that you do this. Now, one other item, because I don't have my, I don't have the, um, the help with McAfee Ultimates right now because I am doing market replay and I'm after hours. So the McAfee Ultimate system is not gonna be showing me that. Now, just to remind you guys what I'm talking about, what is that? Visually, if I'm over here in my Discord room and I select McAfee Ultimate Alerts, remember that's this. So here is a way to incorporate this with the Mac v with the Enigma. As of right now, the Enigma is the only indicator that has this. In future versions, we're actually going to include this in some of our other systems, so that's gonna be cool, right? If you guys think that's pretty cool, um, I don't know, we gotta type in some stuff. How about we type in, um, how about we type in the word Algobox? You guys spam the chat with Algobox if you think it's gonna be cool to have the Mac V Ultimate incorporated into our other systems, not just the Enigma, where you can actually filter based on the Mac V Ultimate right there in your chart without the need of being inside of Discord. Is that cool? You guys like that? Excellent. Try to get some interaction here. So that was our most recent uh, accumulation zone there. Now let's look for the next one right down here. I'm gonna do one more thing here. I'm gonna right click and I'm going to go into my indicators. And for the Enigma, I'm going to add color coding. Let me show you guys what that does first. So inside of my settings, I've got these two sets of filters right here. I've got Mac VU filtering. This won't show you a signal unless the Mac V agrees with its direction. What do I mean with that? That means that unless the Mac V is green, I will not show you a green. If it is not red, I will not show you a red. Simple as that. Does that make sense? So if you want the perfect entries off of the Mac VU, then you simply select that right there, and then you will guide your own exits. Make sense? Now, this is a plus and a minus. Be like, oh, why would you not want to do that, Vinny? Well, I actually personally don't like to do this one because I also like to use the Enigmas as exit points. And sometimes I do scalp in the opposite direction. Again, so, so I like to see both, but there's there's advantages to both. If you're going to be doing uh, target one, target two off of the lows uh, or off of the lowest time frames, this is actually really great to have. If you're trading a trader funding program, this is really great to have, okay? now. We can have this secondary option right here, color code those where I will at least know whether or not the MACV is going with me or against me. And this has signal strength direction coding in it as well. So it won't just be green or red. You will also have a neutral, which is yellow. You will also have a strong buy, which would be blue. And you will have, uh, I'm sorry, it's, it's bright, it's bright green. And we will have a pink for strong. We'll show you that here in just a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and do the color codes right now. So you notice that we had some reds and some greens in there. Let's see if this green still shows up right here for that. No, you see that green one now shows me that, hey, that one is not the ideal right now because technically the Mac VU is what color? This tells me that the Mac VU color is the color right there. It is red. So if I were to, in during the daytime at this time of day, this would mean that the Mac VU is saying, hey, I need to be looking for shorts here. A green is not going to be a good one. Now, this one turned pink, which means this is a strong sell. And if you know our color codings, pink is a strong sell, blue is a strong buy. Now, I think we're going to change that soon. Right now, we've got bright green. Don't ask me why we didn't do blue. I think oversight on our part. We will get these to match exactly um, with our Mac V in the near future. But for right now, you know, just <laughs> we'll hang with it. So there was a very nice short here that I could have taken quite easily. It is after an accumulation zone. I can copy this one right now and move it on over. And we see we've got about the same size accumulation zone working right here. Pretty easy to see as we get on the opposite side of that box. Wouldn't you want to take a trade on the top of that box? Yeah, so this is why I like to see these. I want to see these on the opposite side of the accumulation zone in the direction of the Mac V. So had I been paying attention and not gab, 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 gab on here with you guys, I would have taken this short right here. And let's see um, if we go even just to the other side of that box, let's see how many ticks could have gotten from that one. I'm going to use the ruler tool. So I'm going to go up here in my drawing tools and I'm going to select the ruler, right? here control f3 so if i enter in right here and i get to the other side of the box that is going to be 1.7 times what is rty is it uh these are 10 ticks each so 1.7 times 10 ones oh they're 0.5s it can't be that many ticks hold on a second we're on the ones right 1.7 times 10 so 17 okay yeah it's 10. i was like i'm driving myself crazy there all right so uh this is 1.7 times 10 it is 10 ticks per handle on the rty i don't like to talk for handles i wish it <laughs> 
Here's my here's my request to Ninja Trader. Would you guys please just select this and put the ruler to have tick values instead of giving me the Y value? It's really dumb. You always have to do your own mental calculation. Isn't the whole point of having a ruler to be easy? Why do you guys give us 1.7? It's dumb. All right, so 1.7 times 10 because we're on RTY and that is 10 ticks per handle. So 1.7 times 10 and got your 17. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn.